why was it that the, this morning there was no state declaration of state mourning for these our brothers that were burnt down by fire and up to 100 vessels destroyed? Does it show that we have regard or value for human life? Two, this road is where the tankers that carry petroleum products pass through. And I was expecting that by the order and the line of wisdom and reasoning, that a, 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 a fire service station would have been set, a big fire service station would have been set in that place. Knowing that the product they carry mm. are highly inflammable. Unfortunately, this this tragedy, unbearable tragedy, took place. And there was no intervention from any fire station. Does it mean that we don't sit down to think or how to make things better? Even as it has happened. But that you, let me tell you, we're in the course of that, and this is to be thrown away. Because since 2020, people have been calling through this a good platform, talking about that road. And some person came in court and said that that road will not be walked until, it, until there is tragedy. And look at the tragedy. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that uh, in this part of the world, we are always reacting to being proud. I, it, it, it cannot count the number of uh, lives that have been lost on that infrastructure. Sometimes I wonder if it will take forever to fix that stretch of road that is not even up to uh, uh, Kanu to Jigawa. I don't know what really is, is wrong with uh, the government, whether it should blame it on the state or whatever. But again, we are talking of uh, reactive measures like that of the margin. Huge. Mm. Yeah, every guy yeah, in, in town, for example, you have classes of road, and each class of road has its shoulder. What do I mean by shoulder? It's set back from the road to where properties should be built on. Okay. And one of your callers mentioned that uh, the federal man moved that gate towards the, uh, the road. Yes, I passed through that road, and before their truck will assess the, 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 their premises, they will cover half of the driveway. So that class of road, a major trunk A road, at least the minimum setback from every development should not be anything less than 15 meters. So that your truck, even if your the queue will be three or four, it won't affect the traffic. But the, the entire east west road from the stretch of two bar to the uh, 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 junction yeah. to Odiogun uh, Axis, you see houses less than three meters, two meters to, to the road shoulder. Oh. And then when these things happen, we say, ah, it, 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 it's, not, it's not rocket science. If we don't look into these basic things, these things will keep happening. If that road shoulder was to be okay, mm -hmm. probably people will see where it can react easily and avoid this whole uh, 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 disaster. But whereby the shoulder, just two or three meters away, just, there is one or two, so you can't even uh, uh, maybe Six, look uh, away to the yeah. infrastructure. So the government will need to call, go back to the drawing board. Let's look especially those roads that carry huge traffic. Mm. Let's maintain the standard so that if issues like this occur, people will have where to run away from. Thank you it very much. It's unfortunate that we we'll keep this thing keep happening. Today, maybe the next couple of months, another one will happen, I will just go there and shout, and then that is... But these are little things you can do. Mm. Well, I, I think... If go from between Choba and Rumuzi, for instance, you will see buildings less than two meters to the east west road, for goodness sake. This is a major road that carries all sorts of a juggernaut. And people will build two meters, three meters to the, to the shoulder. Who does that? You need to go to Abuja, you see the, you see the petrol station. Yes. You can yeah, drive. You like, can drive. Yeah, you, you're very correct. Like, before you assess properties. Interestingly. That is, that is the standard. Interestingly, Clinton, you know, as you were speaking, I was running my my, my mind through uh, almost every major junction, right, that you just described, from Choba down to Messi Land, down to Apara, down down to uh, Rumokoro uh, and uh, Eliozu. And you're very correct. In fact, close to Eliozu uh, Bridge, right, you can just turn off and you're inside somebody's estate. All right. 
even, even the NAF, NAF estate that we all praise, you see that gate. If you're driving to that uh, Elios Road, if you're entering to the NAF estate through the Elios mm. Road, you need to wait for the cars to enter the estate. It's not supposed to be so. The clearance should be completely off the of metro the express for goodness sake. Mm. So the governor really needs to call. I don't know how we need to reject the physical planning of this state, especially towards our major roads. These things cannot be happening. Until we begin to see take sincerity of purpose serious in this country. I'm sorry to say that things like this will continue to happen. See, if you let me start with with the ordinary people. If you are on the road and you see how people drive, you begin to wonder, you begin to ask questions if we are normal. You begin to ask questions like, are we normal? Is something wrong with our brain? And then to, on the part of government, to say that government has failed like an old talk. The only thing you see when you see our government make their impact here is issues is on issues that concerns politics. That is where you see them. They all come out and speak Queen's English and then dance around and do all the dressings and sweet talks on top of. Why are we living life like this in this country? We live life in this country as if we don't know what life should be. I, 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 I kind of, in some developed countries, there are rest, resting points. You know, if you're going on a long journey, there are things like resting points where you drive and then you park. Yes, yes, yes. Have you ever seen such here in this country? Well, well, we have rest points, but they may not have, they may not be as comfortable. I know if you're, if you're going to Lagos from Potaka, you can stop at Ore, you can stop at Ugeli, you can stop at Benin. There are spots where you can stop, park your car, ease yourself, you know, and all of that. But yeah, I understand okay, the reality. That's, that's that is a place that you have chosen for yourself. Is it government that has established? I see. I see now. I see. I'll give you an example. I'm calling you from somewhere in the grid. I'll give you an example. Look at all these mini, mini bus stops that they built. But the ones in this area, they are, have been occupied by mass, by mass people. It is government that built this thing. It is the responsibility of government to make sure that these things are working. What are we even saying in this country for heaven's sake? What are we even saying in this country for heaven's sake? Well, we don't come, we don't come. I think what makes everybody is there. And then when it comes, and to, without due respect to the people that love their lives, I don't mean to talk down on them. But that's, that's the reality. Because nothing works in this country. Nothing works. But I don't know why we don't begin the class of fire service people. Not in today. There were fire incidents during Christmas somewhere in uh, that's my area and plaza there. Has anything been done? Nothing. This is my brother, leave this country. Just forget about this country. Just forget about this country. Mm -hmm.